Hello and welcome to the Simcast Studio tutorial video. In this particular part of the video uh, we're talking about recording. Yes, recording everything that goes on the program out, your footage that everybody is going to view. And that basically we're co recording what we see in the program out, whatever that may be. So, um, down in the air, this area here we've got the recording uh, section. Uh, here is our audio input devices. And uh, the best one to choose is really the virtual audio capture, um, which allows us to record all the sound from the sound card output. So whatever's going on on your PC, on the sound card is going to be recorded. Um, you can pick a microphone if it's just going to be audio on a microphone if you choose, it's, or it could be an input audio mixer. However, you know from our installation notes that um, you fi find a section there basically on incompatible sound cards or basic sound cards. Uh, they don't really have an input per se. Well, you don't need to worry about it because we've got a little program there. That's kind of like a little driver, so to speak, like a virtual audio card. And it's called Virtual Audio Capture. And that the installation of that basically sorts out the issue for you. And it will appear in Simcast Studio. Uh, under streaming and um, under recording. So the virtual audio capture is what you would use uh, basically for um, <coughs> recording your output sound. So we obviously got a record button and we've got a time lapse of how long we're recording. But as equally important over here is the settings before we record anything. So you click the uh, settings button and uh, we here can choose a location of where the recording is going to go, so desktop is fine. We can choose the output screen size of a recording, so we can go high definition or if you want to go all the way up to uh, 4K, feel free to do so. Um, so um, here we've got some video formats that you can choose from, so you can see AVI, a flash, MKV, MPEG, MPEG4, MOV, and WMV. And here is our f uh, frame rate uh, where we can change how many frames per second in recording. And here's threads. These are your CPU threads. So if you've got eight cores, you could choose eight cores or four cores of your eight cores. Zero means all your cores. So it really depends, and it's, it, there's no real it's about playing around with us, to be honest with you. I personally normally leave it on um, all cores, but um, you know, some people might prefer to keep a few cores free for other stuff going on. It, it it depends really. So now that we've selected a pass, what happens here? Well, what happens here is when we actually record something by simply clicking the record button, we get a time lapse, and to stop the recording, we simply click the record button again. It's that simple. And, and if you click it again, it's a whole new recording, just to keep that in mind. It's not a continuation. So it's starting fresh again. Um, you probably noticed there I didn't actually put in any file name or whatever. What it does is it picks an automatic GUID number. So um, if you like, the name is defined. So it might be advisable when we've selected the location there to pick a folder kind of like today's show, my program for today, um, and various sort of stuff like that. So recording is quite simple, and it's quite to the point um, of what it does. Um, it's to simply select your sound card, set your pass and your settings of what you want the final output to be, and then simply click your record button. That's it, and work away. So that's recording in Syncast Studio. And again, thank you for watching the tutorial video on recording. And our website is www.simtouch.eu. Bye now.